Hey baddies, we're here back with another YouTube video. So I'm about to go to Starbucks interview. I am super nervous, but we're okay. So I'm gonna wear my mask because I'm not sure if they allow piercings. I read online, there was like this little thing that I'll put over here on the side where like they had like a color option for you to wear to work. Like what colors you could wear, kind of pants you wanna wear. And then it said, we allow one body jewelry that's no bigger than a dime which I guess they, they're they referring to like gauges. I don't know. <laughs> so I wore my mask so I could hide my septum and my snake bites and then I have my eyebrow, obviously. Walking in. No matter what you say, what you do. Alrighty, baddies, I'm home. So I feel like I did really well in my interview. Like I definitely got the job. I did so good, like amazing. I do wish I prepared myself more for this interview though because a lot of the questions were situational questions. Like she even said that. She's like, I'm gonna ask you a lot of situational questions. And they definitely were situational questions. So I do recommend like practicing some situational questions. So I'm like, I'll tell you guys the question she asked me so you can practice with this or ask somebody to interview you situational questions on Google or whatever. But I feel like my questions probably help more, so watch. Also subscribe if you aren't already. Like I'm helping you out so you can get your job. Follow me! I've made two other interview videos, one for Hot Topic and one for Zoomies. Those are places I've worked before. I didn't make a video for my kennel tech job, but if you guys are interested in like some advice for that job, let me know down in the comments down below. I don't bite and I will answer you. Anyways, I applied for Starbucks back in March because I finished school around that time. I have online school, so I was able to finish early. I was even able to take half of my senior credits. I'm a junior right now, so when I go back to school mid-August, I only have half a credit to take. And then I graduate in December or January the latest. Any which way. So you know you got an interview is that they will email you. Blank email. I ask you three different questions. Walked in. So I walked up to the front and I was like, hi, I'm here for blank for an interview. And then the guy was like, oh yeah, for sure. Would you like anything to drink? So the really fun thing about a Starbucks interview is you can get any size drink for free. Which I think is like super duper cool. Get a free drink. I ended up getting the chocolate chip Java mint frappuccino. It's one of their new summer drinks. I got a grande with almond milk because I wasn't sure if I would like it. That's why I got the grande. But yes, girl, you can get your almond milk. I would suggest getting a drink. You can get one if you want, it's free. I went up to her, make sure you shake the employer's hand for like professionalism. She asked me how I was doing and I said, I'm good. She was like talking to me about my previous jobs I had and like asking me how I liked them. You always wanna say positive things about places you've worked previously, even if you had issues. You just want to speak positively because they don't want to hear you talking negatively about somewhere you've worked before. Like that doesn't look good. Oh, so, um, I have notes on my phone. About the interview questions. Asked me was why Starbucks? Meaning, why do you want to work at Starbucks? I just want to say, I don't remember what I said to like some of these interview questions. So I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. I'm just going to ask the question and then move on to the next one. And then if I remember, I'll obviously tell you what I said, but you can also look online how to answer those questions. It's like, okay, so I'm gonna ask you situational questions. So she said, tell me about a time where you had to talk to an employee who wasn't doing something correctly. So later I learned that that's a leadership question. She even asked me if I was a lead at any of the jobs I had worked at. And I told her, no, I wasn't because I'm not 18 yet. And the jobs I had worked at, you had to be 18 to be a shift lead because I worked at Hot Topic and Zoomies. The next situational question she asked me was, tell me about somewhere you had gotten exceptional customer service and how they made that experience exceptional. So the next question she asked me was, tell me about a time when you didn't like how things were being done. So you suggested another way to do things, like to make things easier. What do I like to order from here? If you're not a coffee person, you can just say you prefer tea because they sell tea there. Like, I really like matcha tea. Ask me how I would deal with an upset customer. Tell me about a time where, you know, at Hot Topic, you had a sales goal. And what you did to help your team achieve that sales goal. After that, what? she asked me, how would you contribute to working as a team? Finally, the last question was, what is my availability? Another thing, I'm editing this video right now and um, I forgot to add. So usually when you finish an interview, whoever's interviewing you will ask you if you have any questions for them. Also bring up compensation. You'd be like, how much am I going to get paid? And then go from there. Like say you want more money, you could say, well, I have prior work experience. So I feel like I should get more money. Say the things that you've done. That way you're not shocked when you get your offer letter and it's not what you expected. And or first check. And then also, like, I feel like this is a very important question to ask. Ask them when you should hear back from them. 
So say you forget to ask that question, I would say wait three days and then call them back to ask if you got the job. Be like, hey, I was really excited about the possibility of working here. I was wondering if you had made a decision. Books, like that kind of thing. You can also send something that's called a thank you letter to the employer if you have their email just to show that like person really wants this job like they sent me a thank you letter and you usually send that within the first 24 hours um that's really good to send you can actually look online starbucks thank you letters or job thank you letters and then put it in your own words obviously and just you dress casual like you can wear black slacks and a black shirt Ooh, oh my god oh my god oh my god it probably smells my sweat because i'm sweating really bad Anyways, for my Starbucks interview, I wore these black dress pants and a gray shirt with a flower on it. So you can literally wear whatever you want. Oh my god, I crawled up there. Not like a graphic tee or anything. Like dress professionally. Like all black if you want. Just also subscribe. Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, loves!